Obesity, it's a delicate topic, but it is a national health crisis, so we need to talk about it. Hi, I'm Dr. Wendy Walsh for Local Now. I also happen to be a professor of health psychology at Cal State Channel Islands. And obesity is one of the things we talk about a lot, mainly because we are experiencing a national health crisis when as many as one in three Americans suffer from obesity. And we now know the link between obesity and COVID, it being a very large risk factor. But there's also more emerging information on the link between obesity and mental health. Now, before I get into that, let's talk about what actually causes obesity. As health psychologists, we always think in terms of a biopsychosocial model, meaning we think about somebody's biology, we think about their psychology, and we think about the social world they live in. So let's talk about obesity in those terms. Let's start with biology. Some people just naturally have a genetic predisposition to gain weight easier. I happen to have two children. One of my children is naturally tall and thin and she eats not really healthy food. She's a teenager and never gains weight. The other one from an early age looks at a piece of bread and gains weight. Their metabolism is genetically different. They were raised in the same household, fed the same meals, but they're genetically different. So that's the first thing is you have to understand that some people are just more vulnerable than others. Now let's talk about sociology, our environment. We have a food industry that over the last 30 years has turned to low fat, high sugar foods, highly processed foods that are not found in nature and not good for anybody's biology. So our food industry has hijacked our metabolism to actually make us gain weight unnaturally. What are we supposed to be eating? Lean protein, vegetables, and fruits. Not a lot of grains, grasses for cows. Instead, we're supposed to be eating protein and we're supposed to be eating vegetables. That's pretty much it and that's a natural diet. So biology, sociology, now let's talk about psychology. There's so much evidence to show that people who overeat may have a genetic predisposition to gain weight, may be hijacked by the food industry, but they also may be eating their feelings. And now there's a huge link between childhood sexual abuse and obesity. In addition, people who gain weight go out into the world and are treated differently by others. In fact, I would say that obese people in our society suffer more discrimination than anybody. So which comes first, the chicken or the egg? Does one have mental health issues that makes them eat their feelings and then they become obese? Or is their body hijacked by the food industry or, and they have a gene for obesity and then they go out into the world and are treated unfairly and then acquire depression and anxiety? The answer is we'll never know which came first, the chicken or the egg. But the big message I wanna say is, if you are racked with guilt because of your body weight, I wanna tell you it's not your fault. It's because of your biology, it's because of a food industry, and it may be because of some mental health issues. So it's not just behavioral. Now, if you have a family member or close friend who struggles with their weight, it's not about just telling them to exercise more or just eat less. It's about getting to the underlying feelings behind it all. And also not discriminating against people who are overweight. That's the message for today, as we all learn to accept and understand each other and also make better legislation to put regulations on our food industry. I'm Dr. Wendy Walsh for Local Now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. You can follow me anywhere on my social media at Dr. Wendy Walsh.